I am looking a little rough. Um, I just woke up um, and I'm taking my hair down uh, out of some flat twists, doing my twisted curls again. Uh, if you saw my twisted curls tutorial video, uh, this is essentially the same thing. I just sort of did the twists in a different direction this time, um, but I still am using the satin rollers. But anyway, I'm just going to be taking my hair down, and I wanted to talk a little bit about the difference between fine hair and thin hair, and how to determine um, if you have So, hair. I know how long my hair is, and it's not short anymore. It's like that medium length, but for some reason, I was noticing that my afros and like when I do twist outs or what what have you my afros look really puny compared to a lot of people that I see on YouTube who have similar length to the age old tell all if you have fine hair is you compare it to um, sewing thread and you take the sewing thread and you split it in half and the size of the halved sewing thread is an average strand of human hair <clears throat> and my hair strand is practically invisible like you can't even see it like compared to the sewing thread um, on the opposite end of that if your hair strand is thicker than half of a sewing thread then you have but it hair. turns out that I have really fine strands of hair um so I was like all right well now I know, because I never really thought about it before. I thought that I had thin hair. So if you part your hair, like you can see this part right here, there is just a lot of scalp. You see a lot of scalp when you part your hair. That could be an indication that you have thin hair because you don't have a lot of those little follicles here um, that have hair sprouting out of it. There's just nothing coming out of it. It's just scalp. Um, now when you part your hair and it's like really bunched up, like you can hardly see any scalp at all, that would be more like you have thick hair because you have more follicles in my opinion, on. I have like an average amount of follicles on my head. Um, it's not thin. Um, I've seen people who have thin hair when it's parted, you see just scalp. You can increase the thickness of your hair strand. Um, you can increase the thickness of the new hair that grows from your scalp. You can't really plump up the existing hair. Hopefully, um, if any of you are, have similar issues, um, that cleared it up for you a little bit as far as having thin hair or a small afro. Um, because for me, it was like a real eye-opener. But if you have any questions, comments, or if you have a similar story, uh, please share it. Uh, put it in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I have fine hair. It's cool. But uh, <laughs> fine hair is not a bad thing. It's just different. So that's all for now, kitties. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye. Oh, oh, and stay tuned um, for the next video so that you can see how what the final style is because right now I know it looks a little silly. But yeah, stay tuned for that. Bye. <laughs>